Hello everyone, I'm Emma from Finland and I'm now living in Norway studying Vikings. Last time in my video I said I'd be making weekly videos but uh, it took me a bit longer to make this one than I expected so I don't know this might be just some irregular thing. Anyway, this time I thought I'd talk to you a bit about Viking Age clothing because the Viking Vikings and Scandinavia were really the leaders in fashion during their time. Uh, Vikings did a lot of trading alongside all the rampaging around Europe and destroying churches. Um, they traded all the way down to what is now known as Istanbul. And they traded in lot of things, one of which was cloth. And uh, this time I thought I'd show you some of the basics of Viking Age cloth making. First I'm showing you a little bit of plant dyeing, which is a really old method of fixing colour to yarn and fabric. Here we are first boiling the yarn in the dye. Uh, the dye we are using is madder, which will uh, provide a really nice red color. Here I'm letting the dye sit throughout the night so that it will actually fix. And then it is rinsed afterwards. You can dye basically with any sort of plants. The color you get depends on the uh, kind of plant you're using and the fixing agent you are using. So this is the end result. And this looks really white in this picture, but uh, the fabric, the linen fabric I used got really nice after a while of dyeing. The next thing you will see is uh, tablet weaving. And tablet weaving is a really nice method for making really intricate designs with any kind of yarn. You can even do this with silk. You do it by turning tablets which have holes in them which different colored yarns go in and you turn them to make the pictures and then we have needle binding which is a way of knotting yarn with just one needle and the end result is really thick you can make socks and uh, all sorts of things and it won't break even though you get a hole in it Next we have some actual Viking Age clothing. Here is Angela wearing typical women's clothing. She's wearing an overcoat and a fur collar. Here is her without the jacket. You can see she's wearing a dress with the sort of straps on. She's wearing an underdress made of linen and an overdress made of wool. And it's decorated with tablet weaving. Here's Carl wearing traditional men's clothing. He's got a tunic on, which is quite long. It's a cloak with animal fur and a gambeson for fighting. Then next we have Georg, who is wearing a chieftain's outfit, which is a lot more fancy than what the other people were wearing. He's got a lot of decoration on his clothing, a lot of nicer colors, and a lot more metal on all of his clothes. So, there we had some examples of Viking Age clothing, and lastly I want to show you a little bit of a different kind of clothing I made for my dog. It's uh, made the same way as you would make Viking clothing, human clothing. Same stitches, same fabrics, but uh, for a doggy. Okay, uh, that was my introduction to Viking Age clothing. I hope you liked it. Uh, I'll see you next time and thank you for watching.